So you may have already heard me moaning just a little bit about how tough this session has actually been. That being said, it's been made a lot more bearable because of this. This is the Avenger camo suit from the guys over at ProLogic. And yeah, it's been a bit of a lifesaver. Last night, the bailiff popped round to visit us. It was absolutely hammering it down with rain, but we stood outside for probably nearly an hour trying to get some tips and information off of the guy. And yeah, I was bone dry underneath. I've literally got a t-shirt on and some shorts under the salopettes. And I'm warm, I'm comfortable, I'm dry. It's mid-November. I've got no right to be wearing just a t-shirt and a jacket this time of year. You know, I should be cold, but I'm not. Really nice thick padding. As far as the waterproof material goes, it's 8,000 millimeter hydrostatic head, which is more waterproof than, well, quite a few bivvies that are on the market. So yeah, you've got no problems there. It's also nice and breathable, so you don't have to worry about it getting all sort of sticky and nasty inside. When it comes to the hood, you've got a nice adjustable peak on the hood section. It's a nice big hood as well, so if you want to wear a woolly hat under it, that wouldn't be a problem either. The cuffs on the arms are Velcro, so you can adjust those so that it's comfortable. Obviously, sometimes if you're wearing a thick hoodie under this sort of thing, you need that cuff to just be a little bit looser, so that's not an issue with this. All of the zips are water repellent, and they're two ways, so you can zip them down and up. It just enables easy access for some of those tasks that you may need to do when you're out on the bank. When it comes to pockets, the two main pockets in both the jacket and the salopettes, they're kind of fleece lined, which obviously being a winter suit, it's nice to keep your hands warm. There's also internal pockets on both bits of kit. Now, most people will probably use this for their phone or receiver, but we use it for mic packs. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic for that. Other zips that are involved, you've got nice big zips on the bottom of the salopettes there so that you can unzip them. They come almost like halfway up the sort of to your knee height. And that way you'll be able to slip the salopettes on and off without taking your boots off if you want. Personally, I'd rather take the boots off because I don't want mud all up the inside of the salopettes, but you know, each to their own. Now you may be thinking to yourself, why exactly do I need a winter suit? And basically, if you want to put more fish on the bank through winter fishing, something like this is the first thing that you need to do. If you're comfortable when you're fishing, you'll fish more effectively, you'll stay longer, and you'll stand out in that nasty weather in case you see something. If you don't know where the fish are, you're not gonna catch them. And this is an invaluable tool when it comes to that type of thing. I remember when I first started fishing, almost 15 years ago, I went to the Sandown show with a friend and sure enough, there they were, ProLogic winter suits. They've been making these types of clothing for such a long time. That's why they're so good at it. That one that I had all those years ago was absolutely fantastic and it lasted me plenty of time and I'm sure this one will do the same. When it comes to costs, this one is 155 for both parts. Now, it sounds like a lot of money, but can you really put a price on comfort throughout the winter months?